Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, I will show you how to use the capture by parameter in a job definition to capture data from the output of a job and place it into a variable that can be used in a subsequent job. The first thing to note is this facility is only available in version 900 and above. Also, please note that the data to be captured from the job sysout must exist in either the JES sys message log, JES JCL, or JES sys message portion of the sysout. No other sysouts can be searched. So now let's go to a job definition and see how this works. In the example I'm about to show you, I have two jobs already defined in the smart table. Once the first job is complete, the sysout will be scanned in the post-processing stage to locate a field in the sysout that we want to pass to the second job. So now let's look at the first job definition. In this example, we are searching for a word that comes after the IEC 237i message that will appear in a job sysout. The word that is then found will then be placed into the second job's JCL. And here we can see the coding for the capture by command in the first job. In the search field, we specify the word that we are looking for in the sysout. In this case, IEF 237i. The skip words and rows parameter allow us, to further, allow us further to define the data we are looking for. And the take parameter allows us to determine how many words or characters we want placed into the variable. And the into parameter, we set the required variable name where the value is to be stored for future use. So in this example, we're looking for a line containing IEF 237i and putting the first word that we see after this into a variable name called test file. There are four different variables that can be used. Local, global, named pool, and smart folder. These are documented in the control M user manual. For this example, we're using a smart variable. So this variable will only be usable within the smart table that we have defined here. In the second job, we will edit the JCL to see the variable that we want substituted. OK, so now let's order the table and see how this works. First, I will confirm the first job. And then view the sysout afterwards. We will then look for the search string that we're looking for in the sysout. And this is a string that we defined earlier in the capture by define. We can see here that the word following the IEF 237i message is the word JES2. So this is the value we're putting into the variable test var to be used in the second subsequent job. Before releasing the second job, let's take a quick look at the table definition for the smart table. In the set var field, we can now see that the variable test var has been added to the definition and the value has been resolved to the JES2 as we expected. And this is how the variable is passed on to the second job. So at this point, we can now run the second job. So just as a reminder, if we edit the JCL, we see the variable name test var coded here. So now let's run this job. And then we can view the sysout afterwards. And then the sysout, we can see the variable has been substituted from the set var coded in the table entry. 
More details on the capture function can be found in the Control Info ZS user manual. That concludes this video. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel where you can see more videos like this.